All right, what is going on guys? So I'm down in Milwaukee right now. I just got some sushi and I'm about to get a lift in with my buddy Dylan who you guys saw in the last video or at least like maybe two videos ago now. Basically, we're gonna go get a workout in at the place he works, Baby Fitness here in Milwaukee, and I'm gonna be doing a full body workout. I'm gonna start out with some pull-ups, then I got a little bit of a tempo squat variation today for my second squat workout of the week, and then finishing with the rest of the full body style, which I'll show you in a bit. So, um, yeah, just waiting for Dylan right now, and then we're gonna head to the gym. I'll talk to you guys when we get there. Sushi was very good, by the way, if you're wondering. Peace out. Money, lounging like it's a beach chair. Papa don't I'm already living. I risk my life to try every day to go and get it, get it, get it. Cheer, raise round killers. We just happy to be here. Spot them, got them. Alright, so I got my man Dylan over here, you can see him right there with the nice polka in the background. Um, we're going to do a cute little photo shoot for him later, but just got done with my first exercise. Like I said, I was doing some weighted pull-ups. I did two sets of, um, what is this guy doing over here? I did two sets of nine reps at um, 25 pounds added, which is exactly the progression I was supposed to hit. Eight to ten today for two sets. Anyways, moving on to squats now, tempo squats, I'm going to be doing three sets of five reps at 225 with a slow descent and then a pause in the hole for two seconds, exploding out. Really working on form, getting the position down so that when I do go back to those heavier weights on my main squat day, I got the form down and I'm feeling good. So anyways, first set here, let's get it. It didn't hurt? Yeah, it didn't. It's weird. I, maybe there's like a little bit of an impingement going on or something. Tell Dylan you just needs to warm up better. <laughs> Dude, this is crispy. Wait, wait, wait. No one's here right now.
right, what is going on guys? So we just got done at the gym here. I just wanted to kind of make this quick wrap up video, this outro to some of the video for you guys. And essentially just got done with the workout. Like I mentioned, shot some photos for Dylan and his online business. And I just want to talk about how important it is to surround yourself with people who are like-minded, especially when it comes to something like online coaching or anything where you are starting your own business. And especially in a niche like online coaching or personal training in general where there's a lot of information out there. There's a lot of people who are naysayers. There's a lot of people who don't understand what you're doing. And to sit down and really talk with someone who understands, goes through the same struggles, and really can benefit you as well as um, them, kind of vice versa, help each other out, is so beneficial. So just wanted to say thanks to Dylan. Um, appreciate him because he helped me out a ton with my website and um, I was able to help him out with some photos. So gonna go home, get those edited, take care of a few onboarding calls for clients. And yeah, so if you guys are looking for an online coaching program that is going to get you sustainable results right now through the holidays as well as through the new year and beyond for a lifetime, please click the link below. I'd love to talk with you guys to see if we would be a good fit of working with one another. But about to go take care of these clients. Thank you guys for watching if you're still watching and hopefully Hopefully you guys are enjoying this upload frequency. It's going to keep coming. Take it easy, guys. Thanks for watching. Them, but my eating disorder was, an I was anorexic. I wasn't really, I wouldn't really say I was bulimic. I mean, I think there was a point where I, where it was a little bit, but mainly anorexia was my, my eating disorder. And, you know, the thing is now is, that that time in my life was about a year to a year and a half, and I, I'd say, but it, it felt like it was so long, dude. Like